Okay, can everybody hear me? <coughs> Excuse me, let me know. If you can hear me. Koala bear, my God, I haven't seen you for years. Thought you disappeared. Um, the one today is KSS. So that's what we're gonna be looking at here today. And Tesla did exactly what I said yesterday. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely exactly, which is really something because I said that it would gap up today and it did, but it just, you know, it just would make no sense whatsoever at all to, to have held this after yesterday's trade. Um, but it, it, it did exactly what I said. <laughs> it's just like, in fact, this was up like 100 points plus from the close yesterday, this morning at one point, the high was 1939. Yes, yeah, so it was almost 100 points. Completely, completely, completely insane. I mean, absolutely insane. I knew it was gonna do this, but you know, you, you just, when the money's there, the right thing to do is to take it. You know, you just, yeah, you have to, you have to take the pro profit. Did anyone hold that Tessa? I mean, I, I have to email the options newsletter people today. I, I, I can't see how anyone would have. I mean, if you did, you, you really were gambling, even though I did say what it was gonna do. It's, you know, all that money, it's right there in front of you to not take it. And I actually thought holding it all day was a great idea. And I had a good exit, but that was, that, that just like, I mean, I, I knew it would gap up today, but I really, I didn't know it would gap up 100 points. I gotta be honest with you. I mean, I just, you know, crazy. And if they weren't so expensive, like if you had more, you could have like got at everything but one, but it was like to even buy one was expensive, you know? It was expensive, yeah. All right, let's focus on what we're doing here at KSS. Doo -doo -dee -doo. Let's see if we can have another good day. Good volume here. We'll look at the market when we're done here. Market's again in a in a tough area in the spy. Okay, just wait. Oh, look, this is going without us. Crazy. Okay, KSS. Stop's going to be 21.25. Let's do 90 by 25. 90 by 25. Here, you could do it right in here. Don't worry about it that it's past the number. Put the stop in at 21.25. I think that's a good enough of a cushion. And here, you could do it right in here. I really think that's a good enough cushion. 21.25. This is not really backing up much. Here, KSS. In fact, I, I thought it was going to go all the way down to 2050 without even setting up. Here it goes, KSS. Here. Here. You had time to get it. I hope you got it. Here. Hand in the button here to see where it goes. This could go all the way down to 20 and be done. Come on. Come on. It was 30 something. No, 26. Come on. Market quick. Actually, gonna shave some off there. I thought it was just gonna keep going. These things were a bust. Very upsetting. Really, quite frankly, very upset about Walmart. And anyone that's in the QQQ calls, today is the day. You gotta watch this trade today. You're gonna exit this trade today. Here it is. Target is not what I want to see either. Okay, we gotta wait for this to go. There's nothing else to do. Oh, I can go back and look at HD, but that just nothing. I was really shocked when I looked at all the retailers today. 
Um, really, look at them. They're tanking now. But the market looks good. Apple's trying to swing around as well. And again, I don't think anyone's still on Tesla. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. I, I think I have to go back and look and see what the, I mean, that probably will be worth today more than anything that I've ever called. That it would be worth in the time that I called it. But I have to go back and really look at it. It's. It's like, I mean, I knew it would do that, but you still, until you're out of the trade, the money isn't yours. Like, that's part of trading is booking the money. It's just part of it. Um. Okay, here we are. Waiting for one more drop down in this through the low, then see if it breaks 20. If not, we're out. Retailers are selling off. Many gapped up. We didn't go long them. Then we're good enough to do. Even HD, the strongest thing in the world, isn't doing anything right. And kind of a bummer. So, would have loved some nice options trades in those. They just weren't there this morning. I didn't call any options trades today. And if you didn't do this KSS, you could do it here and it's still not too late. But you got to have a stop at the original place. Here we go, KSS. Here we go. In fact, we're lucky this flipped. I'll go show you this here quickly. This was up at one point this morning, 24.79. Then it was even at 23.24. Here we go, KSS. But it was actually up, like all the other retailers at one point this morning. Here we go, we're gonna get it down to 20, I think. The sooner, the faster, the quicker, the better. Based on this market here. Wow, this HD is tanking. It just, it just wasn't, this is completely insane. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this is completely insane. All right, who's doing what? KSS, you gotta shave some off the second we got in it. Are you waiting? A Tesla's completely insane. Yeah, I'm waiting too. we go 25 was a low I see if there's any data out this morning. I'm just taking the ticker off for a second. Um, what is today? Tuesday? Feels like Wednesday, but it's Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Cree is tonight. A is tonight. He's always a slippery one, though. Lazy Boys tonight. And I think Target. Yeah, Target's tomorrow morning. Target and Lowe's are tomorrow morning. Maybe one of those will cooperate. Because none of the ones today cooperated as, 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 as uh, options trades, which I... Or even nice day trades, quite frankly. Yeah. 
Those stores are, I can't see how those stores aren't doing well. I mean, like the HD, Home Depot, you know. Certain stores have made out in the pandemic, and the rest of them have been crushed. Like bugs. Pretty sad. Like the gyms. Or is always a line? What do you mean? Oh, there's always a line when you go to Home Depot. I'm sure, is it? They only let a certain number of people in the store, I'm guessing. That's what everyone's doing now, huh? Of course, those stores are massive. Okay, we're in this and we're waiting. Actually, the longer it takes to set up, the bigger the move it's gonna make when it goes and drops down again. But we do have to wait. And that's what we're going to do because that's what we have to do. This here, I'm not going to go long. This is completely, completely insane. This apple looks good. Told you it was higher. No one believes me until after the trades go. <laughs> and here I told you today's the day you're going to exit this. So 278, 279, 280. See if we can get to 280. 280 is a dream target in the QQQs and it's on, make, trying to make its way up there. Another nice trade call. We could have gone long this here actually too, but I didn't want to go long and go short. And we're in this and it's working. One thing people did during COVID was repair and plant flowers. Yeah, I'm sure they did. But also, um, I got the number Zen Trader sent me that article about housing. It's, I mean, I, I, I that's, that's what's going to affect the banks. In fact, I didn't look at the banks today. Let's quick look at them quickly. Gyms can reopen if you wear a mask. And I'm not wearing a mask to the gym, so that's ridiculous. It's not even safe. Like people can pass out from exhaustion, heat exhaustion, not being able to breathe. These people have gone drunk with power. Drunk with power. And I think we as Americans made a bad choice ever, ever listening to the government. We should have never done it because now all these places are drunk with power and they want to control all our lives. To say to wear a mask to the gym is insanity. Completely insane. You're breathing in your own CO2. You can't breathe with a mask on right. And when you exercise, you need to be able to breathe. It's complete insanity. They've all, all gone drunk with power and gone crazy. And actually, de Blasio is arguing with with Cuomo now about the gyms at all. I don't know if the two of them don't ever talk or, because they act like they don't live in the same state or the same planet. Here we go, KSS. And if you didn't do it, you can still do it, but the stop has to be 2125. We go businesses are begging for business so I mean begging for business I'm get I'm getting calls from everybody everyone that I've ever shopped with is calling me calling me on the phone to buy stuff and to be honest with you some of the things I, I I'm just buying because the prices are so good I mean just like every place my facialists the uh, everything at a chocolate place I are I mean just picking up the phone and calling people to, to place orders and buy stuff I mean it's I feel bad for these businesses I really really do it's it's a terrible situation. Well, that's, it's gotten too political. We can't keep businesses closed this long. It's just so bad. It's sad for people. So we're gonna have to wait. We're gonna have to wait. What is it having a problem with this area? Let's look at it, because it's really struggling right here. And I don't know why, and it makes no sense why. So let's find out what that is here, which is not a problem. And we already broke it this morning. So I don't know what its situation is. It just seems to go. 
People that are day traders are probably trying to buy it there in the previous support to fill the gap, which is the wrong thing to do and isn't going to work, and you shouldn't trade like that. But here we are. We're short it. We're up. We're waiting. We were up more at the low. We're trying to make a little bit more, squeezing anything we can out of this. And I kind of wish we had gone on the market today. But the option's working, and it looks really good. And we can't go along here. And here's the sell-off in this, as predicted. But it really went insane. It's just uh. Macy's had a little bit of a move lower with the retail. That's another store that's hurting, hurting badly. So it's interesting. I was I've been looking at prices of real estate all all over, like pretty much everywhere. <laughs> I went I went online this morning. I was looking at stuff. So the Hamptons normally you rent in season, like you'd rent for the summer, like Memorial Day to Labor Day. Like you, you could rent a place for the whole summer instead of paying weekly or monthly. Like you just pay a full amount. You rent it for the period. Now they're renting places out yearly, so you can rent a home for a whole year. So that's what people are doing. Like they're like they're renting a home. In the Hamptons for like a year, for like hundred fifty thousand, two hundred fifty thousand, like, like you just can rent the home for the whole year. Um, I mean, it's just, it's just crazy. Yeah. Okay, we are waiting. It's only nine forty-five, almost. Feels like forever, but we've only been in this. Less than 15 minutes, but it does feel like a long time. Uh, holding rest for a bigger move. We get out of half. Well, we were talking about this in here just a second ago. Uh, Brian is discussing this area, and I'm saying this isn't a problem. One, we already broke it. Two, that it's nothing to do with the fact that it actually gapped. So it actually did gap. Um, I'm not sure what gap up you're talking about. You're talking about this one here? Eight, five? We didn't get down to 2017 anyways. But anyways, this isn't anything here. Why? Because of today. But anyways, again, these are areas. So I guess theoretically, 2017, 2025. But anyways, these, this is a gap down here. So this gap down here today is taken over. It's taken over the world. Stop is 21.25. Brian, you're signed up for the class this weekend. We'll go over we'll go over that. Anyways, this gap supersedes everything in the world. Which is how we're making money in this today. We'd like to make more money. We have to wait. And if you wanted to get crazy, crazy tight with it, you could put your stop at break even. If you feel so inclined, if you're nervous, or get out of half like Brian did, I'm not nervous. To be honest with you, the retail is going in our direction. It's falling. So it's not like as far as the sector goes, we're good. Market, the fact that the market is up is not hurting the KSS. And actually 278, again, you could get out of this options call here or you're gonna hold it a little bit longer. You gotta watch this people. Gotta watch here these times of the day. Oh, even Walmart can't hold it up. Let's go look at that HD again. Let's just, here we go. We didn't get over the high though, did we? I mean, it's, again, the way that this transpired, I didn't do it. I've done nothing in this here. 
It's, it's, it sh this should be breaking out. It could very well do it today. And again, that's doing it, I believe, on its own. God, we're going to fall asleep till this goes. Let me look at Amazon because I haven't looked at that yet today. I mean, the market's just going on its own there. There's really, there. I don't, I mean, I can look it up again, but I don't think there was any data that came out that was so striking. Trump posthumously pardoned Susan B. Anthony. Oh, look at this Amazon. Okay, this is helping the market. Shoot, I didn't look at this this morning. I'm not sure if I would have done it though. All right, here we are. Okay, here we go, KSS, through the low, see where it goes, we're getting it through, here we go, we're getting it down, nice, and we're going to get down to that 20, and then we're going to see how it acts, and if it doesn't break it, we're out, and we're done for the day, and tomorrow, hopefully something will work as far as an option and a day trade, but you never know, you really never know in today's times what the days will bring, You never know. Here, we just tested the low. We didn't break it. You could get out of it there if you want. I think it still goes, but you could. I, I chatted then yesterday to cancel my Equinox membership because there's no way I'm wearing a mask to the gym. And the girl's trying to talk me out of it. And she called me. She called me three times. I said, what? I said, this is completely insane. You don't actually think that this is, you know, good for people to be wearing masks in the gym. Well, we can put it on hold. It's been on hold. Well, we can put it on hold for another six months. I said, what's going to change in six months? You tell me what's going to change in six months. Yeah, but it doesn't cost anything. I said, fine. Put it on hold for six months. I mean, like, it's like people just, I mean, uh, this is never going to end. I think what they should have done is close the country down everywhere. They should have had a federal mandate for maybe 60 days or even 90 and then just opened everything up like normal. Or they should have opened things up the way they're doing now like months ago. They've just killed the economy and the virus is still out there, so nothing worked. Letting it up to the states was a disaster as far as I'm concerned. The states all made bad decisions all around every single one of them. I mean, and it was just a mess. And it is a mess. So now the virus is out there and we've ruined the economy and it's a nightmare. And normal people who aren't sick and have good jobs, you know, can't live normal lives. Peloton was upgraded. I'll look at that when we're done. 2024. Oh my gosh, one penny. is going to break it. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Kohl's is one of these stores that I don't know. Have they all reopened or not? They're not doing that well, though. They're not doing well at all. I don't know if the holiday shopping is going to bring these stores back. It's the only hope they have to survive this year is holiday shopping. But are people going to go out in crowds for Black Friday and shop? I don't know. I just... You think they've what? You can get out of this here. I'm trying to wait, but it's really taking forever. Mm. Nope, this is lagging here now. Ooh, this, this completely flipped. Did something happen? Well, that's almost like news there, the way that just reversed. Is 
your news in Apple? It just had a strong reversal out of nowhere. Just took it down. Let me look at this. And again, KSS broke the low by a penny. So if you're holding this, I don't know how long we're going to have to hold it. All right, the, the spy did get up to new highs. Crazy. And without the banks. Well, no, it didn't. Three, let's be very particular. It did not. They just announced it did, but that wasn't true. 339.08, 339.07. If we want to be really, 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 really technical, it did not. So let's let's be let's be completely perfect here. It didn't. They they just said that it did, but it really didn't. It retested the previous highs and made recent highs. Here we go, KSS. No, it did not. So let's be. Where's everybody on TV and say that it did because nobody looks at anything right in a chart and <laughs> talks on TV but me. All right, here we go. KSS with 24 more cents and it feels like a mile. <laughs> I don't know why this is taking so long. It is holding on for dear life. Doesn't have much life left, though. Can't find anything in Apple, but Apple had just a strong reversal out of nowhere. This looks like news, the way this, just this last five minutes here. Is it, can anyone, does anyone have anything, Zen Trader? Really last 10 minutes. This reversal, look at this. What's going, something's happening here, people. This isn't just like whatever. This is a major reversal here that something just happened. I can't find anything. That's what I was trying to look for. Zen Trader, if you see anything on that, let me know. If you want to get out of this, I can't fault you. Again, you can put the stop at break even. Or you got to add a half and hold the rest. Or you're holding the whole thing and you're waiting very patiently like we're trying to. Not doing anything wrong, but taking forever. We're back down up where we were initially. To wait longer. Spotify filed an antitrust complaint against Apple. There you go. I knew it was news. But let's see what happens here. It just happened really quickly out of nowhere. That was just too newsy. We'll see what happens with it today. And this is the end of this. So this did not make new highs. And I think it's run out of steam here. And that's probably the end of this. And again, today's the day to really be exiting the longs. And now I don't know what's going to happen to this thing here because of the news. And this we're waiting. Apple's abusing its dominant position and unfair advantage. Well, duh. Just like Google does. Hello? And Facebook and all of them. All right, you can get out of this if you don't have any more patience or if you have to go. If you're still in it, you could put this top break even or you leave it at the same place or you're just gonna wait. Or you could even put it like a 2060. That was that area that it was struggling with. But I think if you're gonna 
you're going to lower the stop, then you're better off putting it at a break even. I'm just going to keep everything the same and wait. Wait till 10 o'clock and see what happens next. Yeah, retailers are falling. We could have shorted Macy's too. I really didn't want to do more than one thing today, but theoretically we could have. I saw it. We could have done it. This had a move. This was money. You could have done it. And it really was a nice little trade in here been so focused on this and really thought we would have been out of this by now but we could have done that too yeah it looks good but it's just taken forever I wish there was some kind of option we could do today to the downside but there really isn't anything good so there really wasn't any good options trades today to carry through overnight markets in a bizarre area um, and then more earnings out tomorrow. I don't think they will necessarily affect the market. Data out Thursday morning as usual. Maybe this week's a week we, we react negatively to the unemployment numbers. Any questions from anyone? Brian, you're new. Market trader, you finally got in for the trial. You wanted to do it months ago? John, you've been here before a million times. Do you have any questions? I don't know what's up with you. Slippage Pro, you're new. Koala Bear, I'm assuming you've been trading on your own because you're, you're here, you're still trading. How are you doing? The KSF tape looks heavy. Lots of big sellers going through a bidder between ask. Well, I, I trade based on the chart and the gap. So I don't look at the level two, except for just to check out my price, but, or the spread. And I really don't read the, the fundamentals either, because I think that can take you off of it. We had that discussion last week with Dan. I really, and I've been reading less and less news lately that I haven't been talking that much um, about news stuff. So it's, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's better just to focus on really what's going on in the chart. Because if, if it helps you, good. But if it hurts you, it may mess up the train. Like you may kill something. Or not do it. Sometimes I think it can help your conviction, but sometimes it can hurt it. This is going to break. Just going to wait. Come on, Bootsy is right. <laughs> it's true. Again, you could be out of this. This is trying to hang on, but it did have that news that was not good. This we didn't do, and I kind of wish we had. This, there was nothing to do. These are still falling even though the market was up, so that's probably why it was pulling the SPY down. And again, we did not make new highs in the SPY. It was fake news. You're gonna hear it on TV today, I know that. Um, poor WMT is right. I haven't been in a Walmart in years. In fact, I don't even I don't even think there is any Walmarts in New York. I don't think there is. There's no Walmarts in Manhattan. That's why. Wow, look at this. It's almost like it's frozen. There we go. Here. Yay! There we go. Here we're getting it. Here, this is it. Oh my gosh, it just it almost looked like it was not moving. Here it is, this is it, this is what we want. Yay, yay, yay. You get out of it right here for wait for one more push. Did 
anyone get out? This is a lot of machines in here. It just dawning on me now. Actually, it should have dawned on me the second we took it. The way that it broke and we got in and then it dropped right away. So then it backed up really quick. Then it came down in here. Then it banked out. Then we didn't go anywhere this whole time. Then we just broke the low by 10 cents. Then it backed up again now by 30 cents. Like, you know what I mean? Like this is machine and I just it just dawning on me now. I should have dawned on me this, the second, the moment that we did the trade. You're out? Yeah, okay. Listen, if you're still in this, I think it continues down. I did not get out. I didn't react fast enough. And then it bounced back, and then I realized, oh, machine. Because that's how these things act. We had that last week with the one. What was the one last week that was like this, that just did this like this? And then I realized it, and then we got out. Bye, do. Yeah, yeah. That was worse than this, or at least more noticeable, but this definitely is what this is. That's what we're contending with here. It, it doesn't mean it doesn't go back down. It means that it does, and next time it does, we just, we just get out, because by the time that it's, that it's ready to reverse, the reversal's already in, do you know what I mean? Or you could get out here. All right, let's just go over a bunch of things today. We'll go over the trade we did. I think I'm just going to hold that, and now it could be till lunch, to be honest with you. So you could have got out of the options, in the, I called in the queues, into the rally here, into this period, into the part, first part of the day, or even right in here by 10 o'clock or before 10 o'clock. Again, just make sure you have some good exits on stuff in here. Um, everyone, you couldn't have screwed this trade up if you tried. If you were blind, you made money, and I don't think anyone was in this today, but it's pretty crazy isn't it um this is unfortunate i wanted to do something that it didn't work out right this i'm gonna wait now for this to drop one more time let's see if we can get it here i'm seeing i'm gonna see if we can get one more push down in the teens and if it doesn't break them then i'm out but this is a machine here that's why that just backed up right like that and did it yeah it was baidu it was baidu on friday and it was annoying And again, no one's gonna buy this here now today. You might have had some people trying to buy it here in the morning. Then once it dropped and broke, that's it. So you're not gonna have anyone buying this here. So you either have some short covering now at this point, 10.06, and you're waiting for more selling to come in and drop off, but you're not gonna have any buyers in here today in this. So safe exits, get out now or you're already out. And if you missed it, you can still get out here with profit or we're gonna wait a little bit more. Does anyone wanna go over anything else? Big one tomorrow is really lows, and we'll see what that does, and the target, really. But some of these charts look really messy, and so I can't really say like what I think is gonna happen here with these, and we're not gonna do anything until they go. But, I hope one of them works out as a good trade because it'd be nice. Anyone still in this? Am I the only one left in the Chaos us. Otherwise, a pretty slow day in here. Here we go, we're down in the 20s.
Dan's still in it? This probably ends up breaking 20 today, but I can't tell you what time, and I'm not saying I'm going to wait that long now because I'm just falling asleep here, but I'm just seeing if we can get any more out of this at all and get it back down in the teens right here, right now. I think the low was 2013. Yes. Here we go. HD and Walmart are perfect examples of why we don't trade fundamentals. Why? What happened? Dan, I don't even understand what that acronym means that you wrote. They both had good earnings. Oh, here we go, KSS. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Let's do it right now. Oh, I don't use them, so I don't know. Are you in the trade or not? Okay, all right, you're in it, that's good. This is it for me. If this doesn't break it now, I'm going to be out. Got things to do. Ten, ten. This is just all machine like this. You can just feel it when you're in it. Out, out, done with it. I can't, I'm not gonna hold it anymore. And again, I think this goes down to 20. I think it could bring 20. I don't know what time it's flirting with that area again. I'm not going to hold it back in the 30s or 40s. So I took it. If you're still in it again, then hold it down. And again, you could put this top at break even if you want. It was a good trade. Good trade. Good job, everybody. Everyone should be up today. Let's look at the market really quickly. Yep, that was it for that move. Let's see if anything's negative is going on here. Of course, could just be the Apple move. T 
cave of false, being sued by the U.S. government for false claims. All right, we'll look at that. No, I don't see anything here. Good trade. Good trade, good day. Ooh, this is tanking. Any questions from anyone about anything at all? We'll see what happens tomorrow. We're selling off here, I don't know why. Uh, Jackie found the news on Apple, which was not good. And I did take it out of all the longs today. Apple's a situation though. And this is continuing or trying to anyways, back down again now to 2015. This is chaos at the lows of 2013. And again, if you're still in it, if you've got the patience, go for it. Dream targeting this would be in the 19s, 1950, 1980, 1975. Here, it's down near the low again. Let's see if it, there, it just broke it. Is anyone still in it? They got a good exit on this though. Just be careful if you're still in it. Don't let a good trade get away from you. Anyways, we'll quickly talk about Tesla. So everybody that was here yesterday knew I talked about it. I actually talked about it last week. Um, because I call the options on here, and I think if you held it till yesterday, that was a fabulous call. Then I called the new one yesterday, which was another fabulous call, and I did say Friday, I did say Thursday would gap up Friday, Friday would gap up Monday, and I said Monday will gap up tomorrow, and it did. But this is the end of this. But I was right in calling the follow through with the gap ups, which is very interesting, but I never in my life thought it would be up this morning, 100 points to where it closed yesterday, but again, you got to take profits and trades. When you're up that much, you have to get out. And if you hold a trade, it's kind of like gambling then because you're saying, well, I don't care about the money that I'm up, even though knowing that I could lose it all. Well, it would have been, you know, well, you wouldn't have lost it all no matter what it did today with the price that I called it and the entries we had. If it had gapped anywhere under 1800 I think this morning, there was a chance it could have sold off and reversed yesterday's bar, at least partially. And that would have just wiped away a lot of the profits. And then again, the, the balloon, which is the option, the option chain, the, the air would have gone out of that balloon like that. And then you're scrambling to get out of something with any profits at all. Air starting to go out of the balloons in these now here. This is dropping off. And I can't find anything to short. So we'll just have to wait and see what tomorrow brings. Oh, you know what? Let me look at Wells Fargo. We could have done this today. We could have done this yesterday, but just didn't start to look really good till later. All right, any quick questions from anyone? New people, old people? Still didn't get down to 20. Again, you can, you can hold this and wait if you want. Very good day. We'll look to see what happens tomorrow. Have a good day, everyone. Very good.